I'm uh, Michael Rappe, I'm a professor here at the University of California at Berkeley. I'm also an investigator with the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. We study the mechanisms of human development that allow a human body to decide which cells to make when and where during development. The Lovatnik Award is a fantastic recognition and validation of our work. It does um, really show that the work that we've done before has made a big impact, not only in science but probably even beyond science. And so it gives us a lot more courage to keep asking those questions. It can attract um, fantastic students and funding to the laboratory to keep pushing those boundaries of science. So uh, it is a potential game changer. In my lab, we are studying how a growing human body knows which types of cells to make, when and where. And in order to reach this staggering complexity of a human organism with its more than 200 cell types, um, the embryo relies on a lot of signaling pathways or communication networks where it can sense information from the outside and translate it into a decision inside the cell, tells it what to become. And so we've been studying one particular communication network that is essential for these developmental processes. Now this um, signaling system or communication network is misregulated in many diseases. It's the cause of many diseases. Based on our findings, we can develop novel drugs, novel therapeutics to, for example, change the progression of cancer, to stop the progression of neurodegeneration. Problems that have been traditionally very, very difficult to tackle. The Blavatnik Symposium brings together the finalists out of the three different um, categories, uh, physics, chemistry and life sciences, to discuss their latest uh, research. And so uh, it not only allows us to mingle with scientists that we typically don't do, but we also see their approach to science, how they attack problems and the technologies that they develop. So it's inspiring to be at these symposia. And by bringing scientists out of different um, disciplines together, you can really cross fertilize and find un you know, new ways to tackle problems, ways that haven't been tried before, but are outside of the normal area of science. And so it's something that really can help us move science forward.